do you recommend use of VCPM models? Not really, <laughs> if we're being perfectly frank here. Um, so I will say I don't think it's bad to use them. I would keep things low and I would keep your budgets low, even if you see phenomenal ACOS reports inside of the ad console. Um, so VCPM models are based off of view attribution sales models, which means as long as a shopper sees your ad and purchases your product within a 14 day date range, uh, that sale is going to be attributed to the VCPM sponsored display campaign. Now, I actually audited an account. They were spending on sponsored display and I was looking at it. And so for full disclosure, when we do our audits, one of the things we pull is a bulk file. And if you're using bulk files to optimize your bids, then you, those are actually the, the performance is based on a click attribution model, which means the shopper actually has to click on the ad, go to the listing directly through that ad, and then make their purchase again within the 14 day window for it to be attributed to those models. So I was looking at, you know, sort of the bulk files and I'm like, why are you spending $1,500 on this sponsor display ad? And it's showing zero orders on the report I'm looking at. Cause I'm like, you know, it's not like anything was super mismanaged in the account. I mean, there was definitely improvements. Don't get me wrong. But that seems to me like the ad manager would like obviously flag that, right? So what I did is I went and I, I looked at that campaign on inside of the ad console. And what I found is that if you looked at it in the ad console, the orders and the sales looked great. And so the ACOS reporting for that campaign, again, inside of campaign manager was about 25 to 30%, which is well within targets. When you zoomed out and you looked at the click attribution model, it was terrible, abysmal to the point of not even seeing any orders. And so if you want to report, uh, if you're not familiar with book files and you want to report to be able to identify how VCPM models, like how they're working from a click attribution standpoint, um, download a sponsor display campaign manager report. And you will see, you know, the view attribution. But if you scroll over, you'll also see some additional columns that will show you the click attribution, which means, again, they're clicking through. And like the one report I pulled on that account, it was like view attribution showed like a 20% A cost and the click attribution model showed over 200% A cost which is wildly different. And so that can happen if you're, what I would say if you're gonna ask about running VCPM models is just just be aware of you know the, that potential reporting. Look at the click attribution as long as you're seeing performance there, as long as it makes sense, as long as you're you know seeing that, I would be fine to run it. Um, but I wouldn't freak out about not having those active in my account. I guess would be my answer. Actually, just so you know, I talked to the sponsor display team, their internal team. They were very adamant that do not run VCPM models when you are doing defensive ads. Your numbers will be wildly inflated and it's not the best bidding strategy if you're doing defensive campaigns. If you're doing defense, look for um, click attribution models.